This haul is actually pretty old, meaning I bought it, I think, over a month ago. Yeah, but I ended up doing the luau haul and I ended up doing the luau party and I wanted to go ahead and get that up for you guys now because I know Dollar Tree tends to shift out of like their seasonal stuff a little bit earlier than they should and because they always like to put out the next seasonal thing out super early. So that's why I wanted the luau stuff out in case you wanted to like do a luau party or you felt inspired, all of those things. So again, this particular haul is a little old, so I don't know if some of these things are still available or not, but I'll go ahead and share it with you and we'll just, I don't know, you guys let me know if you found some of the stuff or if you already have it, whatnot. Actually, there are a couple of things in this haul that I've been looking for for quite some time that I knew was out there in Dollar Tree land, but never found it in any of the four Dollar Trees I go to. There's about four in my general area. And I finally found what I was looking for. So I'll go ahead and tell you what I'm talking about. And they are these Brillo basic cleaning gloves. So I actually have, I found the red set as well, um, but I've already used those. So here's the yellow, which I'm digging yellow all of a sudden lately. And really cute pattern. They're pretty long, which I really like. I don't feel like water is going to get in them because they are so long on my arm. Um, I don't, it says one size fits most. I think what I found for myself is that they were a little bit big on the fingers because I have really skinny fingers. So they were just a little bit big. So it's not as comfortable to clean with because I really want like for it to fit really well so I can feel the sponge and does that make any sense? I don't know. And then the pink one, which is probably my favorite. I mean, how adorable is the, the, are these cleaning gloves? Now, here's the thing. Cleaning sucks. It sucks. I personally don't get any joy from it. So whatever I can do to make it better, more fun, I'm going to do it. Like things like cute gloves and, you know, things like really cute bottles of like cleaner stuff. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do it because I hate cleaning. All right, so I got a red pair. I think the red pair were like dots, like polka dots, I think. I'm not sure. You may see it in a cleaning video in the future. I'm not sure. All right, the next thing that I got is just a repeat, my sponges. I always get my sponges at Dollar Tree. However, I wanna just go back and say, because I know I haul these often, but I don't always say this often, but I use one sponge for every two weeks and then I throw it away. But in those two weeks, I still san sanitize it. I throw it in the microwave for about a minute and a half to two minutes, get it sanitized before I clean the countertops or anything. But after two weeks, I'm done because the, the Brillo pad side is just kind of seen its life cycle and it's ready to go. So essentially one packet of these will last one month. The next thing is something new for me. I don't know if it's new for Dollar Tree, but it's an apron. And they had quite a few colors to choose from and I just thought black was the best. It's very thin, it's very flimsy. In no way shape or form do I think this is gonna last my entire lifespan. But for whatever reason, I think at the time I wanted this just because I don't know, to be honest. I'm gonna open this. I mean, I don't typically cook with an apron. I used to have really cute aprons back in the day, um, but I never wore them. So this is, that's cute. It's really cute. I mean, you could also use this for dyeing your hair too. I mean, or if you're like painting or doing stuff with your kids and they're doing stuff. I mean, these are just really cute little aprons to have on hand for $1 and they had different colors. The colors were more mature, like dark, darker, warm tone colors and they were like bright and vibrant. Um, like the black, there was like a dark green, a brown, I think, and a navy, and maybe a red, I don't know. 
Also picked up another cleaning tool. This is one of my favorite cleaning products from Dollar Tree. As a matter of fact, I have a video on my top 10 favorite cleaning products from Dollar Tree. Although I probably need to do an updated video because it doesn't include this guy here. But I will link that video at the end so that you can just click on it and go right to it if you want to see all of my favorite cleaning products. But I love this duster so much. Just my favorite guy ever. My favorite guy? I don't know, ladies. I do not know. All right, the next thing is this, what, plastic saran wrap, basically. So I've been getting a lot of these, and yeah, I just use them for the obvious intended purpose, and um, pretty good. There's, there's quite a bit in here. 33.35 yards of plastic wrap. What else am I supposed to say about that? Now here's something that will probably be slightly controversial depending on the audience, but you can also use this as a method of cutting inches in your body. Now I've heard different things. I've heard it's actually healthy. I've heard people think it's not healthy. I honestly don't care. Um, I just know that uh, whenever you need to drop like you know, a couple of inches or whatnot, you can actually use this because it makes your like that section sweat. And for me specifically, sweating is what makes me lose weight. Um, if, if I, like for example, I know that sounds odd because you're like, well, duh. Well, here's the thing. If I jog in the wintertime, I'm not going to lose as much weight because it's not hot out and I'm not sweating as much. Um, now, if I'm jogging in the summertime, I am like drenched. So I drop weight fast and I've actually lost quite a bit of weight. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can tell or not, probably not, but uh, at least in my like lower section where I tend to carry most of my weight. So I'm just saying that you can also use this to lose a couple of inches, but I would research it and I'm not responsible for blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? All right, so here is a bag that I didn't even know that I had or else I probably would have used this for my luau party, but I bought these cups just because I thought they were so adorable and they come two to a pack, so they're essentially 50 cents each. The yellow one, hello yellow, really cute. You've got the little sand castles, little sunglasses, and then I got the red, has basically the same print, and then the blue. So how adorable. They're just fun, you know, just fun to have. If you're hanging out in your backyard, put some lemonade in here, whatever your drink of choice is, it's really cute. And then I got some of this stuff. Now, look what I found. So I did my luau party and this was my theme. Didn't even know that I had bought this before I even knew about my luau party. Um, so I have an extra one of those. And this one is my absolute favorite. I don't know what it is about images like this that I just think is so adorable. It's, it's not, it's not sophisticated and it's not any of those things, you know, you, you wouldn't want to throw like a garden sophisticated tea party with this by any means, but this is so fun for summertime. I love this. And then this one is really cute. It's a little sand castle. It's really adorable. And then I got napkins. Okay. All right, let's see what else did I get. Okay. So the next thing that I found was this ultra adorable little box. There's something about the boxes at Dollar Tree that just sucks me in, even though I don't do anything with them. Anyone else? I mean, they're really cute. Maybe it's just me and maybe I just, I love Dollar Tree so much and I haul so much stuff that I don't get to give it all its own special attention, but this box is just to die for. And I love it enough that I'm actually gonna put this particular box in my kitchen, just because I am doing like a lemonade theme now and just a French country slash lemonade theme. And I thought this would be really cute in there. So I'm gonna put that in my kitchen. All right, here's another box, but as soon as I saw this, I thought of this room. I just love this, so adorable. Have I already shared this stuff with you guys? I feel like I've talked about this box before. 
I guess I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna go through my videos and see if that. That's when you know it's one been a long time since I filmed, and two when you go to Dollar Tree a lot that it's just like everything's starting to run together. But I thought this box was beautiful, and you could put little jewelry. I would probably put like my favorite go-to earrings in here. Um, is probably what I would do with it. But you could also put like your favorite like. Um, little scrapbook items in here. I don't know, whatever makes you happy. Sequins and all kinds of things. I don't know where I was. My phone just rang, but cute little um, straws. Super adorable. Okay, so the next couple of things are kind of like scrapbook planner type stuff. I've been seeing these poster letters. I don't know if you can see them, but it actually has like the alphabet on them. Um, I, they're called poster letter stickers. I haven't tried to see what like the actual stickiness of these, but I thought they were really great. And I think you only get, you get four sheets, but I don't know if that means you get dupes of the each alt letter. Uh, I see another A in here. I see three A's, two E's, three E's. Anyway, you do get four sheets in here, so I thought these would be really cute for my planner. And I know, planner stuff. Um, I'm trying to get there. So here's the next set. It's just really cute. It's just a bunch of arrows. I thought these would be great for, obviously, planner stuff. And then I wanted to try some new pens, so I got these. And they are these gel pens. And they are the color of the pen. So you gotta be really careful with Dollar Tree because sometimes the pen is a color, but the ink is just either blue or black, just a standard ink color. So you wanna be careful and you wanna be looking for that, but you can obviously tell that this is the ink itself right here. So I wanna try these out. I obviously haven't tried them yet because it's still sealed. And it's been a really long time since I found like a great pen set from Dollar Tree. So just straight off the top of my head, I can think of two that I will rave about till the end of time, which is the uh, Comfort Grip. I don't know if you guys remember that one is black. It was by the line Bic, and it's a brand name that you can find them at Walmart, and they don't sell them anymore at Dollar Tree, at least I haven't seen them. And then the second pen set was the one that writes in like silver and gold metallic. Oh my gosh, those pens are my favorite. I know I have them around here somewhere, but those two are my favorite of all time and I have yet to find anything like of that quality from Dollar Tree. So I have high hopes for these, but I haven't tried it yet. So we shall see. Actually, I'm gonna try it right now because I wanna know. Oh. All right, let's see. I'm gonna use my little notebook. This was in my last haul. I'm gonna use the, the blue one. Wow, it's pretty good. I really like it. I mean, it writes really well. I mean, it writes really smooth. Um, I really like the ink color. I, I personally like it. I know we all have like our own particular, you know, preferences for pens and fine tip, medium tip, smooth tip, all of those things. So I like when my pens write really smooth. And uh, so I think this is kind of on that, on that path. And it says it, extremely smooth, right here. Yeah, I really like those. I wish they had that in black, um, but I do love the bright neon colors. All right, so here's my last bag. So, all right, so the first thing, in this bag is this art tape. I've never seen anything like this at Dollar Tree before, so I thought this was really interesting. And of course, anytime there's anything like planner related, I'm gonna want it just in case. Because then that way I can be as creative as I want when I'm doing my planner spreads. So I thought that I could probably use this in my supply stash. And it just looks like electrical tape, honestly. So. I'm eager to try that out. It, I mean, you could definitely use this as washi, you know? The next thing that I found was this really cool, huge, gigantic clip, but you like clip it to a table and then it holds your drink. So essentially it does this. So how cool is that? Never seen anything like this at the Dollar Tree. They did have different colors. So I went with red. Yeah, really cool. 
Okay, here's the next thing. This is a mosquito repelling coil. So you get four coils in here. It's for outdoor use. I've never really paid attention to anything like this from the Dollar Tree, but I want to be outside and enjoy myself. And because we didn't have a cold winter, these guys are going to be out feasting all the time in the South. So I thought that I would use this. Has anyone ever used this? And please tell me what your experience has been using it if you have, obviously. It says each coil burns for five to seven hours. Uh, outdoors, outdoor, place one coil every 10 feet. Use on patios and porches and it repels mosquitoes. So I'm gonna try that. All right, here's the next thing. This is a fashion emergency kit. And they actually had different 10 box designs and let's open it up. You get a stain removing wipe. All right. Oh, okay, I get it like a stain on your like on your clothes or something, kind of like a little tied thing. Okay, then you get a nail file. So here's what it looks like in here. You get a nail file. You get a hair tie. That's okay. I mean, if you have thin hair, this is okay. Uh, if you have thick hair, I'm not sure about this guy. You get a needle set with some thread, two buttons and a safety pin. All right. And then the biggest bobby pins I've ever seen in my life. I mean, all right, but you get two of those. So that's pretty much it. I thought it was really interesting that they had something like this at Dollar Tree. I've never seen a fashion emergency kit before, but I thought it was cute. All right, and then I found some new pom-pom keychains and look at these colors. And also these two combined is actually pretty amazing. I would never think to combine something so neutral with something so vibrant, but I just love this color combo. And they are so soft, you guys. And how fun are these? Definitely, for me specifically, I would put this on my planner. And I love the little, um, what do they call these? I don't know they call these clips. Not alligator clip, but something. And um, so this makes it easy for you to attach it to your like planner. Especially like an A5 or a personal planner, things like that. So I love these to death. I personally wouldn't put these on my actual keychains for my car because I just don't. I don't add fancy stuff to my keychains, um, but for a teenage girl, this would be cute. All right, the next thing that I got, I was really just like, what? And it's these gorgeous napkin rings. Oops. How stunning are these? They actually had a different like style, but they only had one of them, and I obviously wanted to make sure I had four. For me specifically, uh, with family not living in town, and it's just being me and my daughter, I always do four place settings than I do anything like eight or 12, right? So for me, whenever I buy for place settings, I always go in four. So I thought this was really beautiful. And as soon as I saw these, I thought fall, I thought Christmas time, and I'm so excited for fall. I finally realized the other day that fall is my absolute favorite season. There's something charming comforting, safe about fall that just makes my soul feel so good. It's the craziest thing. I don't know if someone feels that way about a certain season, but fall just does it for me. And as soon as I saw these, I thought fall and I thought Christmas time. So I love those. Okay, here is the last things that I got. Now this was obviously a while ago in May because these are all graduation cards. So. Now you're probably wondering, well, graduation's over. I didn't get these for 2017 graduation. I got these more so for when my daughter graduates because I know then I'm gonna have a lot of graduation cards to write for and cash to give and all those things for her friends. And the great part is none of these have 2017 on it. So I can use them for any year. So I'll just kind of show you what I found, this one. And then I don't know if you can tell, but this is like real tassel. The hat really does pop out. I'm obsessed with their handmade cards. But if you've been watching my videos, you already know this. Here's the next one. 
It's a stack of books. It also pops out. It's kind of hard to tell because it's still in the wrapping. Okay, here is the next one. The sky is the limit. Really cute gold foil, baby blue. Look at that. Perfect. Next one's really cute. Look who's graduating. Eh, I mean, it's really cute. It's probably not my favorite. Um, I love it. I just don't think an 18 year old would love it as much as I love it. You know what I mean? Unless they love owls, then they'd love that. Um, here's the next one. I love this one. You'll go far. It's like a globe. I love the red and I love that. I mean, they really have given all of this thought because each card is unique in its own way in a different color, but I'm not done. Here's the next one. Graduate. You got a bright future. Graduate. 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 You've got a bright future. It's really cute. I love the gray inside this. This is like, this could be for a guy, easily. A new journey begins. It's okay. I mean, I love the card, and a new journey begins. Uh, it does say graduation on here, but, you know. Uh, here's this one. I love this one, too. And, like, each, some of these are, like, the, the hats with the tassel. It was really cute. And then the last one is top dog. That's funny. So, I'm obsessed with their handmade cards, honestly. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this haul, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I am going to probably be working on planner videos tomorrow, so I'm really excited about that. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. I don't know if I'm going to do something simple or if I'm going to do my, my cheap crafty girl type of spreads where I do themes. So I'm still thinking about it all, and I am going to be working on planning my videos out so that I start to get planner videos out consistently. But I just want to remind you, I'm just trying to get back. I'm not trying to overdo it. I know videos are sort of coming up back to back, but a lot of these I already pre-filmed before I took my break. So a lot of them, the work was already done. So for me to kind of get back into it, you might see videos back to back and then you might not see some maybe for a week. So I really apologize for the inconsistency that you are going to experience with my videos. I am going to try to figure out a pattern so that you guys know when to expect videos from me because I know that's really important. I just want to remind you guys that I have a full-time job. I'm a full-time single mother. And so YouTube is just kind of like this thing I do on the side on the weekend. So I'm going to do my best and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.